We're at one of my favorite hidden gems in Greeley. It's the Toynton Gallery for the Visual Arts, located in downtown Greeley, right between the UCCC and the Rec Center. And I'm here today with Stan. And Stan, can you tell me a little bit about what it is you do here at the Toynton Gallery? Yeah, I'm the senior public art tech for uh, the city. And that's, that means I'm, I'm kind of dividing my time between the gallery installations, planning, coordination, and maintaining the, the city's public art collection, which is expansive. OK. so. We're here in the gallery today. From what I understand, that the gallery's been shut down for a little bit, but that's about to change. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we were shut down since March of 2020. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been kind of hard for everybody with the uncertainty, but um, uh, we're really excited to be opening our doors and uh, letting the public back in to experience art. Uh, art's something that's really for everybody, and uh, it's really nice that we can get back into that role. Um, yeah, this is our first show. It'll be opening on d uh, January 7th um, at 5 to 7. So, yeah. So now we have a piece up that's going to be in this show. And already I see some things about it that I love. Can you tell me a little bit about this show and the significance? Yeah, Seeger Hartgers is the artist that is on display. This is his uh, body of work that really recognizes uh, public events and community uh, gatherings in the city of Greeley. So behind us is the uh, the first Friday or the the Friday Fest, um, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, a picture of the Friday Fest, uh, that downtown summer special extravaganza that a, a lot of you probably have engaged with or remember fondly. Um, and that's the same for him. He has these public uh, or these uh, fond memories of what makes Greeley unique and special to him. And uh, that you can see that in the work. Um, and uh, yeah, this is kind of a special time because we're, we're all missing those elements in our lives. So uh, this is a way that we um, can also connect and uh, re-engage with the things that make Greeley special to us. So you're talking a lot about re-engaging and getting back, not just out into the community, but a chance to do that with art here. Are there going to be other opportunities, things coming up in 2022 that people can do here at the Toynton Gallery? Oh, of course, yeah. The, the, the gallery's got about nine shows, uh, nine to ten a year. This next show year is going to be nine shows, uh, including this one. But um, right after uh, Seeger's show of uh, uh, community um, uh, vision, <laughs> vision of community, uh, we will be moving into the District 6 annual high school art show. And that's where we get all of our creatives together and um, the young uh, creatives are going to be filling our walls, and um, it's a great time to really uh, connect with the the youth art uh, with Youth Art Month. Um, uh, but we have beyond that just a lot of uh, different styles, and different uh, media's, different ways of uh, uh, different approaches to art, um, and yeah, there's there's a lot coming, so a lot to be excited about. That I, I'm personally stoked. I love coming to check this place out. Can you just tell me a little bit about what you like about the Toynton Gallery? We were chatting a little yeah. before the interview, and you were telling me all these great things about the role that a gallery like this can play. Could you tell me some of those? Yeah, so um, in a city like Greeley, I, th I think if you ask uh, somebody on the street um, what art is, they would definitely point out the public art that's around them, that's in the parks, that's uh, kind of lining the streets with the uh, the trees um, yeah but like and those are those are really prominent the murals downtown uh, those get a lot of uh, visual um, exposure mm -hmm. but the gallery is a is a space where like you you kind of have a dedicated space for an art experience um, that that is uh, more than like usually it's either around a theme or uh, an artist's point of view, and you can really dive into what art can be and um, have a lot more like concentrated experiences in mm -hmm. a gallery. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's really great that Greeley has a gallery it, of its own, and um, yeah, we want people to know that it exists. It's that hidden gem that you said. So who is this for? Can anyone just come in off the street? Is there a target audience here? Yeah, the target audience is you. Um, the, the gallery is open to the public and free. Uh, there's, um, uh, if, the, if the doors are open, you can come in. Um, but really, it's, uh, I, th I think art is something that is what makes us human. So if you want to connect to your humanity, come see some art. Um, we've got uh, 
nine different shows to try it out. If you don't like one, that is fine. That's why we have eight more. So um, uh, just like if you were listening to music, not every music is going to be your jam, but like uh, there's something for you out there. So um, yeah, we, I, if you are a Greeley resident, bring some friends. Uh, you, you don't have to be a resident. You can be a visitor. It, it's for you. So yeah. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see all the different shows and to see what's going to be here. Thank you so much for your time. If you want to find out about this upcoming opening and so many other amazing art things around here, you can go online to greeleyart.com. Thank you so much for watching.